When Zobel was artist-in-residence at the Rhode Island School of Design, he saw an exhibition of paintings of Mark Rothko at the Providence Museum. He described the experience as an artistic awakening. The color fields in the works of Mark Rothko showed Zobel how lines and intense hue can be a painting's subject matter. Zobel abandoned the presentational style and developed a visual language analogous to Rothko's use of color. His search focused on the line as a means to evoke movement and emotion. He accomplished this by filling a medical hypodermic syringe with oil paint, which he worked across the canvas surface. The visual vocabulary of Saita paintings comprising of fretworks of lines, some color, and conjured space was also the confluence of other various concepts and sources. From the 1950s paintings, full of intense color and bold linear patterns, to sand gardens seen during a 1956 business trip to Japan, as well as from Jackson Pollock's drippings and Chinese calligraphy. There was also the time when he was visiting building sites during his time at Ayala Corporation. The sight of bamboo scaffoldings with fretwork patterns also gave Zobel visual inspiration. The sightes marked the beginning of the voyage Fernando Zobel took into abstract space, a formal progression of the mastery and control of material, technique, and creativity informed and embodied by an intellectual mind.